A Providence home was cleared of dozens of cats and what a mess inside. A big mess. An angry tenant is blaming her landlord. It's a story you saw first on 10 and NBC 10's Tony Gugliotta has more. Providence Animal Control officials removed 69 cats from the second floor apartment at 87 Progress Avenue after receiving a call from a neighbor about a foul odor emanating from the residence. What happens when you get so many cats in one small area like that? They have ear mites, upper respiratory, a lot of diseases that are transmitted very easily. Smile. The apartment's tenant, Francis Reed, not happy to see NBC 10 cameras at first, but did give us a possible explanation for the cats. Basically, there's rats running all through here. Yeah. One morning, I woke up to make a cup, uh, uh, a cup of coffee out of my coffee maker, and there's a nice little rat uh, sticking his nose out of the wall. Reed says it's an absentee landlord's fault that the building is in such shambles. In fact, the RISPCA was in her apartment they say it's uninhabitable for animals and humans. Feces, urine, that, that ammonia smell is, is dangerous for humans to, to live in. NBC 10 obtained these pictures from inside the apartment when Animal Control first investigated the allegations last week. After learning of these squalid conditions inside the home, the building inspector showed up Thursday after the cats were removed and condemned the building. Now the animals will be checked by veterinarians. The healthy animals will be transferred to area shelters for adoption. The others will be treated and some may have to be euthanized. We remove them from the environment and give them a day or two possibly mm -hmm. to, to acclimate and, and then we'll have to make that decision on whether they're adoptable or not. We certainly can't put a liability out there um, if these cats are going to be a danger. There were no animal remains found in the apartment, and because she was cooperative, no charges are expected to be filed against Reed. In Providence, Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.